I refer to the problem in the next video as coming from section 2.7. Uh, that was a mistake, actually comes from section 3.1. In problem number 39 of section 2.7, we're asked to either prove or show a counterexample uh, to the statement that the integral of the absolute value of um, some continuous function, v of t, from a to b is equal to the absolute value of the integral from a to b of v of t. So it may help to think of this uh, graphically first. So suppose if we're, that we're given uh, some function v of t. Well, the um, integral from a to b of the absolute value of v of t is kind of has the effect of, well, just flip, rotating everything that's below the x-axis to above the x-axis. Remember when we take the integral Anything below the x-axis algebraically counts as negative area. Um, anything above the x-axis uh, counts as positive area. So essentially, in the first integral, we're taking um, what we would think of geometrically as the entire area. Um, so say if we're looking at the integral a to b, well then you know we're taking the positive area here plus the positive area here plus the positive area here. Where on the right hand side if we're looking at say the um, integral of the entire function and then take the absolute value, well here we've got positive area but then it's going to be offset by some negative area uh, plus um, some more area that's algebraically positive. So if we you know, add all this up together take the absolute value, you know, there's going to be some cancellation in the areas here and probably not going to end up with the same thing. Of course, this isn't a proof in itself. We have to actually give an example what this doesn't hold. But if you want to think of just a simple, simple example that's similar to this, well, we could look at, uh, say, let's let v of t uh, equal x. And let's let a b be the interval negative 1 to 1. Um, I really should say v of x, not v of t. Um, so I think I'll just change my uh, coordinates to t instead of, uh, instead of x. So looking at just v of t equals t. Um, on the interval negative 1 to 1. So if we evaluate the left hand side, we want the integral from negative 1 to 1 of the absolute value of x dx. Well, this is equal to the integral from negative 1 to 0 the absolute value of x uh, dx plus the integral from 0 to 1. And now on the, if we're between negative 1 and 0, the absolute value of x is the same as negative x. Uh, so we want the integral from negative 1 to 0 of negative x dx plus the integral from 0 to 1. Well, if x is positive, then the absolute value is just going to be x. This is negative 1 half x squared evaluated from negative 1 to 0, plus 1 half x squared evaluated from 0 to 1. Now this is equal to uh, 0 minus uh, a minus 1 half times negative 1 squared, so minus minus 1 half, plus 1 half times 1 minus 0. So this is equal to 1 half plus 1 half, which is equal to 1. So we see that, all right, 
the left hand side of this quality is 1. All right, well, now let's compute uh, the right hand side. And if we look at our picture, I mean, this is a uh, function v of t equals t. This is very symmetric. We should expect that you know, the area between 0 and 1 above the x-axis is probably about the same as the area between negative 1 and 0 on the left um, below the x-axis. So it should uh, intuitively uh, be equal to 0. Let's see if that actually happens. Now we want the integral from, excuse me, the absolute value of the integral from negative 1 to 1 of t dt is equal to the absolute value of 1 half t squared evaluated from negative 1 to 1. This is the absolute value of 1 half times 1 squared minus 1 half times negative 1 squared. Or just the absolute value of 1 half minus 1 half, the absolute value of 0, which is just 0. So we see that the right hand side is equal to 0 and does not equal the left hand side. So that's kind of an example to show that um, the integral of the absolute value is not equal to the absolute value of, um, of the integral. And that'll happen pretty much every time the, um, we have an example where it's not, where v of t doesn't take all positive values or all negative values the absolute value of the integral will be a little bit smaller.